Enjoy this narrative by Carl Peverall as he shares Co-Creation, a new work of art. This one is called Co-Creators. Again, it's, this is from stone that we got uh, locally, even though the stone comes from South Carolina. It's uh, all, almost all granite except for <clears throat> these river stone inclusions. Initially, this is, this happens quite a lot. I love to do pieces. This, uh, particularly, uh, all these things have, have kind of figurative references to me. And, you know, you get several of them together in the landscape like, like we have here. And particularly if they're closer and they look kind of like figures communicating with each other. Um, <clears throat> this one we finished uh, very, very late last fall as an individual piece. And um, we had it all winter at the studio. It was called Wizard. And uh, we found this stone soon after completing that. And we didn't think automatically that that was going to go with this. But this is just one of these stones. You know, like the way this broke off and the combination of this organic surface and these mechanical man-made marks in it. It's just, it's, you know, the kind of thing that, that we live for. And we got the idea that, you know, that's, there's, th these things are kind of speaking to each other just, you know, in, in the yard. And we thought that yeah, the scale of it and everything would be a perfect companion for this one. So it's now called Co-Creators. And <clears throat> I was having fun in my restlessness last night just sort of thinking about this title and about this piece. <clears throat> and co-creation and it's this thing that Ethan and I have this relationship we have as father and son uh, as two artists that are open to each other's uh, uh, thought processes and even that are very open to the nonverbal communications that take place all the time it's quite a remarkable thing but but in our work settings or whatever we have people that we work well with in our in our our, our personal relationships and families some some things some some chemistry is a very natural thing and others not but when the chemistry is good, it's just such an amazing thing. It's one of the most divine things uh, that I know of. And um, so I just started thinking about this thing. It's like as if these pieces were talking to each other. And uh, in a co-creation, <clears throat> someone might inspire an idea. And then the person that gets inspired might come up with something as a result of that inspiration. And the, the person that inspired the thing might ask, well, where did you get that idea? And they don't even know what, you know, we, 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 we know, you know, we, others know us a lot better than we know ourselves, you know, and this is the thing. So here's like uh, someone that comes to, to work one day, you know, wearing a new hat or something on their head. And then their co, their co creator comes up and says, well, what do you think about this thing as an idea? Or like this one says, well, what, where'd you get that idea? And he said, well, I don't know. It might have been something about that hat you wore today. You know, it's just sort of just the, the, these things that exchange. You know, these creative exchange that happens between us uh, is uh, inexplicable, but but quite miraculous. Any questions about that? One. Yep. When you do a permanent installation, do you lay like a a, a base yes. underneath all yep. this to keep it this, from sinking? This ha this actually has. A, a base uh -huh. weighs about 700 pounds. Uh -huh. It's a concrete slab that all of this is pinned into. Okay. The arch out there has a 1,400 pound concrete slab that uh -huh. you cannot see that that arch is built onto. Yeah. So that the bases are often the most massive thing about mm -hmm. the piece, just so that they're permanent, strong, and uh, stay stay at the angle. You know, mm -hmm. they have to be put into the ground so that the frost heave and that sort of thing. And also, do you? in these particular rocks that you're finding um, have you come across fossils in your rocks yeah no. we there, there aren't I don't know I mean how many people have found fossils in stones around here no, no, that's no. what I was yeah. thinking I don't about they're not here. they're not around mm -hmm. here. I've the seen Tennessee them in many other thing. places but it uh -huh. just doesn't happen some you see a lot of things that look like fossils uh -huh. Uh, just the way the stone did this or that, or that might look like an Indian uh, tool or something like that. And you know it's not, but you like to think that it is, you know, when you find it, of course. Stay tuned as Carl narrates many more of his works.